kind of skip through this, but um, you went to the big top, you saw the big performance, you got invited in to Mr. Witch and Mr. Light's caravan because they wanted to thank you for bringing so many smiles to this this carnival. Uh, then on the way out, you got pulled aside by Burley, who it's feels like son. there's something going on with them and he wants to try and help them, but he told you guys that to get their attention pretty much, or to make them listen, you've gone in to get leverage. This is a recap though. Uh, my bosses know more than they're telling, but their hands are tied somehow. You're the first a group of people I've met who who might be able to set things right. If you guys are uh, willing to help me with this plan, I I'll be dead because as I mentioned before, Mr. Witch and Light, they're they're good guys, but they might need a bit of prodding in the right direction. I do have a plan. Lay it on us, big guy. Fallon likes your funny hat. I'm gonna help. Well, uh, he kind of picks <laughs> up his pumpkin and just puts it on your head. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, they're uh, especially on tonight, they're hard to get a hold of. I I think your best bet would be at the crowning. That's when they kind of separated and and distracted us. They put on their big their big show. You'll need someone with good hands to to steal that watch. It's um, it's attached to Mr. Witch by a thin chain, so you're gonna need it's it's not like a strong chain, so just some scissors or a knife or something. You should be able to to unfasten the chain. So uh, good hands, huh? So Burley, you're saying we should hold the stopwatch? I won't be able to shut the carnival. Would they can't from the events on time or anything? I mean, and... if you if you need help, Delagron, Candlefoot, and Palasha might be able to help you. They're they're good eggs, but I uh, would uh That's stay true. away from Thacko. He's untrustworthy. You do not have to tell us to stay. Yeah, away you don't from need Thaco. to tell us that at all. We're uh, a... no. Side note, I'm not just saying that because you guys hate the character. It literally says that's what he says in the, the book. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> See, because it's just Thaco. universe. It's just universally known that Thacko just sucks. <laughs> no, God, please, no, 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 no! Can we cause a distraction somewhere? Now, if it's a distraction you need. I can be of service. As you guys, so as uh, you, Amber, and Farron know, the, during the crowning, uh, that's the, probably the best time. Like, they, they can't choose who gets crowned. It's just whoever brings the most smiles to the, the event. So that would probably be the best time to get close to them. And for distractions, I would assume that would help. That's why I'm... Fair enough. Looks I like this ruse was help. made for us, Amber. What about that? In, uh, didn't uh, didn't Fallon get an invisibility cupcake or something? Because that could help out a lot. If we really, really need to stealth it, stealth it up. Obviously, Farron's like Al. But what about an invisible Farron? Ooh, now you're talking, Amber. And I kind of slap you on the like <laughs> the back of the shoulder, like. <laughs> Me on the back of the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yangwa, we're on a time crunch here. Let's go meet up with Palasha. All right, let's go. And I'm as you're Martin. heading out of the staffing area. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. wait, <laughs> wait. I think. Oh, I'm you hear excited. A little... Hey. Oh hey, you beady. <laughs> um, you'll see this small, like just a normal sized little round. Fishbowl sitting on a table. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, it's got a kind of like gold sort of trim around the bottom of it, and it just says, um, Ask a Lottle. Ask a Lottle. Oh. <laughs> let me, and let think... me just let me... wait. Are you gonna describe what BD looks like, or do you want me uh, to? You no, know, you, you can just mind you, he's also wearing like a little fortune teller hat. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, so... underwater, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's and adorable. he's and he's pink with like big black eyes. Yeah, like an, an actual axolotl. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Love a, him. yeah. His That's name great. is Beady. Hey, Beady. Axolotl the axolotl. That's his 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 show name. Oh. Hey, Amber. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I just got the, this big book from Burley, so I'm pretty happy. Just uh. Just wanted to talk to our uh, parents. Just, uh, I know I don't perform anymore and I'm kind of waiting to go back to my home, but I did. I did have a vision, and um, 
I don't know, really know what it means, but... Sounds like a vision. Apparently, if this means anything to you, the... The horses know what you're looking for. So if that hmm. means anything to you guys, but that's... The that's that was my vision. Um... Maybe I'll let you guys get back to the, it. You it's the carousel, maybe? I, the horses I, I don't know. I, Farron, before you go, um, and he kind of, and Beatty kind of, uh, gets over to a little thing of fish food next to the bowl. Uh, would you, would you mind? Oh, yes, of course. And I pick up, <laughs> pick up the food. And, and he just goes to town on it. And sprinkle it. <laughs> and he just goes to absolute town. Anyone else remember? Does anyone else remember he exists? <laughs> no one been feeding him. <laughs> the visions take a lot out of him. He needs the food for energy. Visions, eh? I didn't know he had visions. Oh yeah, he's an askalotl. Get it? What happens if he turns into a salamander? Is there some other pun name he has to change, or is actually, he just actually axolotls can't actually do that? <laughs> I love that Beisha always just has these straight up facts. Like every time we say something about an animal, Beisha's just out here like, actually. He's a, he's a druid, so it works in character. It actually does. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Okay. And a female centaur sets the ride in motion. The unicorns shake their manes and creak to life, cantering around the carousel to the delight of the riders. We're going to Candy Mountain! As you join the, the, the line, you see some kids um, speaking to the uh, centaur as she's going to go stamp their passes. And one of the kids kind of speaks up. Hey, mom, look at the funny centaur lady. And she goes, no, I'm I'm not a centaur. Can I can I see your pass? And yep, stamp them through. And you people know, uh, Farron and Amber, you know... You don't know her too much. She's never really happy. Like she's kind of around, but she always seems kind of down a bit. Um, she doesn't really. She kind of keeps to herself. But uh, you know that this is Diana. Diana Coppington. Aww. Aww. She's pretty. You say like I, like I like that we all collectively like pretty. Coppington, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, because you know uh, that's not. Back, like a lot of the people here, they get like their own little show names. So we're just here to have a ride on the horses. Um, I'll let you on once the the current ride stops. Just miss being human sometimes, you know. Can human, I ask but... what happened? I'm just someone that made a bad deal. Uh, I see, I see. Who would you make the deal with, if you don't mind me asking? Looks a bit off put by that question. Um, just I just made a deal with someone. It's Lost my horse, wanted my horse back, and well, guess I got it back. Ah, uh, oh one of those. no. But, um, this is like some full metal alchemist shit. <laughs> <laughs> you could tell that there's. They're obviously animated, but there's also. You feel like they're awakened and they should be intelligent, but it oh, seems like okay. something's blocking it. Like, obviously these are like awakened horses, but there's something interfering with them, so they can't like speak a bunch. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get any secrets out of these ponies. There has to be a way, I just don't know how. Maybe we should ask uh, De Deanna. I mean, if anyone would know, she would. <laughs> we go out on a limb here and trust her with what we know? We don't have to tell her everything. You could just tell her that we've been asked to speak to the horses, which is true. I stroke my like, horse's mane as I get down. Don't worry, little guy. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We'll and be I back. And I step off the carousel. How's it going, Fallon? Anything happened while we're gone? Oh, uh, uh, just watching you guys. What's going on with the uh, the the horses or the the unicorns there? There's like uh, something. There's like they're they're awakened, right? I never thought you took me seriously when I used to say I used to talk to them. But <clears throat> yes, they're they're usually quite talkative. There's something seems to be like uh blocking them i mean i'm not an expert i figured i'd ask you you're the expert on the horses around here do you mind if i ask why you're well that'd be my department so beady the Ascalado, you remember uh he said 
that there he had a vision and it had something to do with your horses so we thought we'd come over here and just check it out and just something just seems a little bit off you know so we figure we ask you about it i'm not super into the magic you know like i'm more of a book reader but uh you know there's i just noticed that they, they seem to be awake but they're not awake if that makes sense yes the horses are awake but they they need some uh touching up she hands you amber a gold pot of paint and a couple of paint brushes mm. and hands it to him it's like um just uh look at their names i their names can't say too much um and then she kind of goes back to ushering people away while maintenance is done and she opens a little gate that leads over to <laughs> where the carousel horses are Fallon? Yeah, yes and amber oh that's me your horses they come on they come to life and s hey hey you yeah yeah me i've got some information for you Mm -hmm. I know. I know you're here looking for something. Like so, these both of your horses are. They don't sound exactly like the same, but they um. Same. same, 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 same. Oh, I'm walking here. I'm clopping here. I uh. <laughs> I'm clopping here. Looking for something. <laughs> yeah, we're looking uh, for a few things, but uh, you go on. Endelin Moongrave has has what you have lost. She's uh a nasty worker for Hag. A hag. Oh, oh fuck me sideways. <laughs> Wait, does Ember actually say that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just sort of a curse, like fuck me sideways. Bless me, bad She lives uh, in a in a in a lair that is uh, on a mountaintop theater. I'm not sure if this helps you at all, but uh, the the hag you you seek. Um, has foreseen her own death, which happens during an eclipse. Seen her own death in the shadow of an eclipse. Huh. During this an eclipse. Like very relevant information. Yeah, I told you I had some, some good information. You're not wrong. Do you want some oats or something? Oh my <laughs> god, yes, please. <laughs> Fair. Yes. Yes. I bet you gave me some information, yes. didn't you? Well, I've got very tight lips. You won't get anything out of me. So you want to know a secret? <laughs> uh, I look kind of, like, perplexed. Yeah, sure. Bavlona Blightstraw. I heard that, uh, she's got something that belongs to you. Bavlona's lair is a, uh, rambling cottage on stilts in a, in a, in a face swamp. A hag, you see is allergic to seeing someone run Widdishins. Fine, or a pin, or Ori? Ori. Ori of the Willow the Wisps. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I, uh, I guess you also want to know some, some things. That would be very nice if it would be okay with you. Oh, uh, that's, that's fine. Um, Scabatha Nightshade, I, I hear, has yeah, but Whatever you have lost. Gabatha Nightshade. Like a scabbed up Tabitha. And very unfortunate name, if you, if you ask me. Very. I, I see um, it. I mean, to go with her unpleasant name, I even hear that her, uh, her lair is a dead, hollowed out tree in a sylvan forest. The hag you seek sleeps in a dollhouse and can't remember the first creature she sees when she wakes up. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. And as all of your conversations end roughly the same time as the carousel comes to slow down and the horses return, well, the unicorns return to being wood. I said I'd could feed Nine some uh, oats or something. Could could you handle that? I I don't know where to get oats and I can't feed him now that he's back to wood. Oh, of course, of course. Um, I'll feed him after the after the carnival. Did you find out what your Hoping to find out, or...? I don't know if it's what I was hoping, but it's certainly useful. So thanks oh, a lot, Sienna. That's good, that's good. Could you also give Moss some oats? 
Probably just best of to course, give them all some oats. Yeah, mm. give them all some oats. I mean, I mm. may have already left some candy up there. Hope that's okay. <laughs> that's that's fine. I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll appreciate it. You're very pretty. I yes, I yes, the old give him a compliment and run away. <laughs> Works every time. Great tactic. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna level with you here, Derlagorn. There's some stuff going on around here that ain't so great. And I think Mr. Witch and Mr. Light's hands are tied. I don't think they want to be mixed up in this business, but they are. And I think the only way we're going to get to the bottom of it and get some answers is to distract them. So, Burley's plan... You know that little... that little pocket watch that Mr. Witch has on his person the, at all times? The whole carnival runs on it. Yes. So it was Burley's idea that maybe we might commandeer, commandeer said pocket watch. And, uh, maybe then, uh... They might feel like talking to us. Yeah, you, you, you pick it up what I'm putting down there, Darla. I don't feel too comfortable because Mr. Watchbridge has been good to me, but if, if it was Burley's plan, just. If you need a distraction, just. I'd give me a signal, but just I don't want to be involved, so just don't let them, them know that I was, I was part of any of this. We were just informed that things that have been stolen are from... We, we think the things and the people being stolen could be from hags, and we've heard talk of a coven, so... We put two and two together, and I'm thinking that those three... Two and two doesn't make, f make three, but three witches do, so... Yeah. Coven, coven hags, witches... People disappearing. It's all connected somehow. I think, I think, yeah. I think I we're getting you somewhere. Where'd you hear about a coven and hex and stuff? Well, we'll let you in on a, a secret, I guess. So, uh, remember when, uh, Candlefoot's voice was stolen? Yes, I did hear. I heard it was you know, in the middle of a, uh, of a proposal. Uh, Just right? so you know, he's got it back now. It's all fixed. We got it in his voice back. So we found the culprit, right? This culprit told us this information about the coven and these hags and that Mr. Witch and Mr. Light have some kind of involvement in it. But like, their hands are tied so they don't really want to be involved in it. But when we tried to ask them about it, they really just shrugged us out of there. 